squad what's poppin what's poppin what's poppin what's poppin hey hey what's poppin what's poppin was hey what's poppin what's poppin was hey i got this on mainly because i just got out of the shower and i moisturized my face and i didn't feel like taking it off <laughs> Just being honest. Before we get anything started, don't forget to like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, turn on all your post notification bells. And um, if you're not on my website, like subscribe to my newsletter, Wisis, like www.essenceofshade.com. I have all my Dare Sis content there. And I have my Like to Know It content, which is like tips and tricks for life's lessons and growth. Um, also my story is up there as well too. I'm working on getting new logos for that because they look boo boo sis. They look a boo boo. Um, in today's video, um, I'll just be talking to you about realistic uh, hair growth tips, mainly because people ask me this all the time and um, I'm assuming you don't know information about it, hence why you asking. So I got you. But my mom used to cut her hair like short all the time and no lie in three, four months, her hair was like past her shoulder again. So it's genetics. I have good hair genes, I guess. Um, uh, so my hair tends to grow at a reasonable pace. Uh, as of recently, it, it has stunt in its growth, which happens in hair growth. A lot of people don't know that and they get really wicked annoyed by the fact that their hair not grown. But sometimes it just needs just a little breather to just chill. And then oftentimes it could also be like what you're putting in your hair, which is clogging the hair cuticles from growing. So... Also, another thing too that I used to take and maybe that's probably why my hair in a sense stopped growing um, is I used to take these hair and growth pills by Nature Bounty. Um, they weren't really pills, they were gummies because I hate pills. But I felt, I don't know if it was mental, but I felt like my hair was growing when I took those, especially my roots, bro. Like, sis was thick in combination with like the products that I was using. That in particular helped me out a lot. There's a lot of pills out there that help with hair growth. And I do suggest you do like your research, sis. Like don't just be popping pills like pop, 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 pop in your mouth and then expecting your hair to just miraculously grow you know these things take time and it takes a regime like you have to be doing it regiment for a while don't just do it for like two weeks and then expect you know what i'm saying it to happen but hair growth pills are a good uh, way to help your hair grow um if you are genetic if you genetic genetically have a parent or have family members that hair don't grow as fast as you would like it to sis unfortunately i mean it is what it is whoa but um pills can help um i suggest taking pills as far as side effects go i don't remember having any side effects if anything they were just so good that i just wanted to pop them all the time <laughs> which is pretty bad but um good for my hair too um other than that like i can't remember my my just my scalp just looked really shiny um my hair looked shiny um my roots were thick which it promotes it it says it on the bottle i wish i had it right now but i don't but i will put a picture up of the pill bottles that i actually got um but everybody's heard of nature bounty their gummies is in the pink bottle i think it's like 11.99 but you could get it really big at sam's club for like 12 bucks i believe i believe 
I also have been using my Covet oil consistently since I created it a few years ago. Um, that in itself has really helped um, with my hair growth, mainly because the oils that are in the Covet oil promote that. You know what I'm saying? And they're not clogging to the pore. Well, they can be if you put too much. Um, but that's with any oils or hair growth oils that you put in your hair. The key to everything is, is um, moderation and just trying out stuff to see what works for you. Um, this worked for me. That's why. And I mainly started it because I just wanted to get some things for myself instead. Because every time I would buy stuff that said it was for locks the ingredients in it was like trash basket fam. Like I didn't want to use it at all. So I decided to create my own and I was using it for about a year before I even started talking about it to you guys. And you guys always used to talk about how, how thick my hair was and all that stuff. And that's mainly because of that. Um, it's not the end all be all for hair growth. Um, you do, like I said, genetically and pills and whatnot, you do, have to like figure out what works for you. Um, some people can't use oil in their hair because they have a scalp condition. I can't remember what the name is. Um, when I edit this, I'll put the name right here. But And they use aloe vera, um, aloe vera on their scalp. So it just depends, and aloe vera is good for that too. Um, it all just depends. So manipulation and styling your hair can play a major factor in the growth of your locks. So a lot of times, if you notice, a lot of people now, they do not style their hair as much as they did. And if they do, they'll do like a two strand twist, a braid out, they'll do like some comb coils. I mean, they'll do like some perm rods, some, um, some curls or whatnot that will last a while so you don't have to like keep playing around with your hair like a lot of times the best manipulative and uh is that a word protective hairstyles to to do i would say would be the like the two in one hairstyles where sometimes i do where i would do like a two strand twist and then I'll end it in like some lock knots on the end or something like that. So that's two styles, right? The, actually three styles, that's two. Because when I take the lock, the knots out, then I still have my two strand twist, which I can leave in for forever and a day. Um, and then when I take that out, now it's the little crinkly, curly type stuff that we like. You know what I'm saying? So that could last me but like three months just off of that hairstyle and i ain't had to do much i still will wash my hair with my two strand twist in i still will moisturize my hair i still will spray it down oil it down wrap it up do everything i need to do but i'm leaving it alone a lot of times we plan our hair so much and like you play so much and not these chunks of hair are falling out but these little little bits and pieces of hair are falling out and that adds up if you imagine taking all that hair that has fallen out of your head with all the time that you've been playing in it and just styling it and doing this and doing that right just gather up all that hair that could probably make like three four locks you know what i'm saying like so just be easy with how you're styling your hair, low styling techniques, I would say. Don't mess with your hair so much. Leave your hair alone. I be telling y'all this all the time. Leave thy hair <laughs> alone, sis. Leave her. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Y'all been rocking with me for a little minute. You know what I'm about to tell you. Leave your hair alone, sis. Why are you playing? Okay, so to just end it all up, the key to hair growth, realistically, genetics is one. Sometimes your hair grows slow, sometimes your hair go fa grow fast. If that's the case, either way, I would say, because it's heavily on genetics. It's hev And we don't like to talk about it. We just try to throw out all these videos and all these products that help you. Um, but at the end of the day is genetics. 
Um, secondly is those pills, those Nature Bounty gummies. Oh, I wish I had a bottle. That is like my secret, secret, like my holy, holy grail, fam. Like, I literally am about to pop one right now. It's so good. They sell it at Sam's Club, Amazon, Walmart, Target, CVS. I mean, I've even seen it in Tom Thumbs. Tom Thumbs is a grocery store in Dallas, if you was wondering what a Tom Thumb was. But um, yeah, I would suggest that. I also would suggest um, your hair growth oils, uh, what you're putting in your hair at the end of the day, oil or not, is what you're putting in your hair. Make sure it's designated to hair growth and make sure it's good for you. Make sure everything balances out correctly because not everything that one person can use, somebody else can use. Um, and low manipulation on your hair, like keep the styling to a minimum. I know people like me and other people make you feel like you have to like, when you see us in a style that makes you feel like you have to like take out whatever style you have right now to take care of that, don't do it. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If I left out anything realistic hair growth tips, please leave it in the comment box below. A lot of the Tiger Lily squad wants to know these things, fam. Huh. They want to know. But I love you guys so much for watching. Um, hope to see you soon. I hope this was helpful. Yeah. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Uh, crash course Let me hide the money in the dashboard Max mad could you lost the brick inside the Porsche Goofy with the curve then asking me for intercourse